Okay, so first of all, Microsoft recently brought out 14 new Excel formulas. They are currently only available in Office Insider, which is also called the beta channel of Office 365. If you go to this web page here, which is announcing the new formulas, and scroll down to the bottom, there is a short section on availability, and these formulas are currently only available if you have version 2203 or later. To find out which version of Excel you have, go to File and then Account, and it will tell you what version you have here. Although probably the easiest way to find out if you have these formulas or not is just to type one of the formulas into Excel and see if it comes up in the autocomplete options. The first formula is called text split, and this will split the text using a delimiter. So it will split all of this text into individual cells wherever there is a dash. Then the next formula is text before, and this will get all of the text before a delimiter. And with this formula, you also have the option of putting in an instance number. So if I put two in here, then it will find me all of the text before the second dash. Then the next formula is text after. And this will find me all of the text after the delimiter. And with the instance number, you can also put in negative numbers. So if I put minus one in here, then it will search the text going from right to left. So in other words, it will find me all of the text after the last dash. Then the next formula is V stack, and the V stands for vertical, and this will stack up multiple arrays on top of each other. And then there is H stack, and the H stands for horizontal, and this will stack up multiple arrays side by side. And as I have linked these formulas to tables, if I add in more values, then the formulas will update to include those values. The next formula is two row, and this will take an array and spread it out across just one row. And with this formula, you also have the option to ignore certain values. So if I put one in here, then it will ignore all of the blanks. Then we also have two columns, which will do the same thing, but will spread out an array down just one column. And so it's taking these values here and then these values here. With these two formulas, you also have the option to scan by column. So if I change this to true, then it changes the order of the values, and it is now taking these values here, and then these values, and then these values. The next two formulas are called wrap rows and wrap columns, and they kind of do the opposite thing. So if I take wrap rows here, and select this range, and then put a wrap count of two, then it takes the first two values and puts them on the first row, then forces everything else onto the next row, and it keeps doing that. And then wrap columns will do the same thing, but for columns. So if I take this range here again and put a wrap count of two, then this time I end up with two values in each column. The next formula is called take. And this will allow you to take particular rows and columns from an array. So if I select this table here and then make the rows one, then it will take the first row from this table. If I change this to two, then it will take the first two rows from this table. And with the take formula, you can also have negative numbers. So if I put minus two in here, then it will take the last two rows. 
and then we can also take columns as well. So if I put two in here, then it takes the first two columns. So at the moment, I am taking these four values here. Then the drop formula will do the opposite. So if I select this table again and make the rows one, then it will drop the first row and I will get all of the other rows. And if I change this to two, then it drops the first two rows. And with the drop formula, you can again have negative numbers and columns. So if I put minus one in here, then it will drop the last column. And I again end up with these four values here. Then the next formula is choose rows. And this will allow me to choose particular rows from an array. So if I select this array here, then put in the number one, then it will give me the first row. But I can choose multiple rows. So if I add the number five in here, then it will get me those two rows. And you can also have negative numbers in this formula. So if I put minus two, then it will get me the second to last row. And the choose columns formula does the same thing, but for columns. So if I select this array here, and then I'll choose columns one and three, and then choose the last column, and it will get me those three columns. Then the final formula is called expand, and this will expand an array to make it bigger. So if I select this range here, then I'll say that I want four rows and three columns, and I want to pad with a bunch of dashes. Then it will take the range that I originally put in and expand it to be four rows and three columns, and all of the cells that don't have a value will then have dashes. You can also use expand in a different way to repeat a value. So if I select this value here and then say I want three rows, I will then pad with this value again, and I will then get that value repeated three times. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you Excel's 14 new formulas, and that is everything.